All right, so customer had an old laptop and that old laptop, like it just, it's, it's not that old, but it was actively disintegrating because it's what happens to computers apparently. So I told the customer to go out and buy a new computer and everything. So he went out and he picked up an HP laptop 17 TCN 300. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this thing open and we're gonna take a look at it. And we're gonna see what it takes to get it open. And we're gonna see what is all inside and if there's any upgradability to this thing. So go ahead and start. So there's four visible screws, one, two, three, four. And there's gonna be screws underneath both of these feet pads. So let's go ahead and pull these out. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. Now the main purpose of like going through and doing what we're doing is to, like I said, see viability of any upgrades in the future and to see if I can just drop that in there and this works. There's a good chance that's not gonna happen, but, oh, well, that's awkward. So there is one, two, three, four, five hidden screws. Two of them are missing right out the gate. Where'd they go? So I need to call this customer and be like, yo, was this a secondhand computer? Actually, three are missing. Because this has been opened before. All right, after getting all those screws out, we're going to come to the other side to where the keyboard is. Yeah, is this even a real HP laptop? Look at this. That's how that logo is lined up. Versus that. Is this a knockoff HP? Anyways, you're gonna, you're gonna come in here. You're gonna just kind of put a little bit of pressure on the outside seam, get your pry tool underneath that inside seam. You might need to use something a little bit heavier. And then we're just gonna go around. And we're just gonna slowly work, work our way around, pop these clips without breaking them. Gotta be gentle. And then once we get a little progress in there, we can just gently Gently get this guy open. I was hoping to be able to pull it off there. All right. This thing really doesn't want to be opened up. All right, once we have that open, let's take a look inside. So we have a Kingston SSD. Like I said, I wonder if this will just work. I'm gonna find out. So we have a Kingston SSD. We have some team group memory. It looks like 32 gigs in total. Or actually this is 64 gigs in total. This is a four terabyte SSD. I don't know about all that. Got our little anti-flex pad in here. So this isn't how this normally comes configured. This is interesting. Plug this cable in. Curious what's gonna happen here when I do this. This is 100% this cable should work. We'll see. So as far as upgrades, normally this only comes with a single stick of RAM, so you'd be able to upgrade your RAM. And normally it doesn't come with a four terabyte SSD, but that's something you'd be able to swap in there for sure. And it does come with this little expansion bay. You have to provide your own or actual hardware for putting in there, which you can order from HP. Yeah, overall, relatively simple to get in and out. I'm gonna pull that out temporarily. See if this guy turns on and reads this SSD. 
that I just put in there. Our button is in the center of the keyboard. See what happens. Because if it does read that SSD, then I can just do a straight clone from that SSD over to this SSD. Well, this is fun. I wonder if this thing had just hibernated. We ain't getting nothing. Hmm. All right. We're going to pull the battery. See if it hard resets. I hate that there's literally no edge for me to grab onto. All right. So that, that should fully reset this thing. We should get something from it at this point. It doesn't look like we're going to. It really doesn't like having that. That SSD plugged in, I guess. Why did that just start back up? All right, so I guess we're gonna have to do this the, the hard way. I ain't getting nothing. Even with the original hardware in there. This is strange. He never had it on. He just handed it to me. Said, hey, here's my new laptop. Screen goes black. This, like, what are the odds this thing has, like, chassis intrusion detection? Should be low, right? That memory's getting real hot. Let's flip this around. Like, I'm not getting anything. Why is this thing so hard to take apart? Oh, there it goes. All right, let's put it back together and finish up the clone. Like I said, it's really wild that this thing is missing a bunch of screws. This is supposed to be brand new. Clearly not. Buyer beware things. This was not this was not upgraded by HP. HP doesn't use Kingston stuff. So I have this I have this sneaking suspicion. Like it just booted. So I have this sneaking suspicion. What happened is a company purchased a bulk lot of these laptops and then sold them on Amazon as upgraded with their own upgrades for like a inflated price. Oh, well, let's see. Just go ahead and plug that in. That should have hundred percent worked when I plugged that in. All right, so once we get into here, we will ha we have a couple disks. Just gonna move over his user files. Whoo, this boy was full too. This is going to take a minute. There's two terabytes of data here. Actually, two terabytes of data, not just like... It's showing full. No, this, this, thing's, got, this thing's got some meat to it. All right, I'm going to need to grab a power cord for this thing. This is going to take some time. Another slow day today. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. 
If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out BradentonPCRepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.